Hello everyone, welcome back. We are nearing the end of our discussions on activation functions. Maybe one more video after this. We have been looking at advanced activation functions from the last couple of videos. We have seen swish activation function in the last video and it clearly outperformed all the existing activation functions. And it has proved to be the best activation function we have seen so far. In this video, we will look at mish activation function inspired by swish. Mish performed better than Swish in most of the cases and outperformed all the other activation functions across different tasks. This was used in YOLO v4 architecture, which is currently the preferred architecture for object detection. The design of Mish is inspired by Swish activation. This is the definition of Swish activation. Then in the Mish activation, they have replaced this sigmoid with tan h. And then instead of using x here, they have used soft plus function, which is logarithm of 1 plus e power x. So this is the definition of mesh activation. The graph looks much similar to swish activation. This is how it looks like. It is looking exactly same as swish, right? But there are minor differences. Let's look at both the graphs closely. Both are looking same except that the slope of mesh is a bit steeper compared to swish, both on the negative and positive sides. Now let's look at the derivative of mesh. If you see the derivative of mesh and swish, these are looking similar except there is some offset here. The first derivative and second derivative both are looking similar. And if we increase the range further on both the sides, both the activations are having almost the same derivative values. If you observe almost from minus 5 and even on the positive side from plus 7.5, both the curves are merging together. So after a certain range, both the activations behave the same way. These are the properties of Mish activation. All of them are same as Swish activation because the graphs looks the same. The graph is continuous here. So the derivative exists at all points and Mish activation is non-monotonic same as Swish because the curve is decreasing and then it is increasing and it is a zero centered function because you can see here there are negative values in the output also and it does not saturate because it is unbounded on the positive side. So this prevents vanishing gradient profile. Now let's look at the performance of Mish activation. They have conducted experiments on MNIST, CIFAR 10 and CIFAR 100 datasets across different architectures and Mish activation beats all other activation functions in all the cases. If you see here, they have validated the results on different architectures to check the robustness of Mish. This is for CIFAR 10. We are not comparing the Mish activation against sigmoid and tan h and other activation functions because ReLU and Swish are leading from the existing lot. So we compare the Mish activation against only these two functions. And this is the result for CIFAR 100 dataset. So if you observe for most of the cases, Mish is performing better than Swish and ReLU. They have also conducted lots of ablation studies on different parameters like network depth, batch size, optimizers, etc. In fact, if you read the paper, 70% of it is filled with experiments and results. You can have a look into the paper. I have shared the link in the description below. I am presenting few of these observations here. Let's start with the first study, starting with the number of layers or depth of the network. As the network becomes large, as the number of layers are increasing, Mish is performing much better than ReLU and Swish. And the next study is on batch size. You can see that Mish outperforms Swish and ReLU across all the batch sizes. Next study is to check the consistency or robustness with changing optimizers. So if you see here, SGD, RMS prop, Adam, all these are different optimizers we use during the training. And Mish is performing better than Swish in most of the cases. They have also conducted experiments by varying learning rates. And here also Mish is better than Swish in most of the cases. And this study is to check the performance with the different regularizers like L1 regularization, L2 regularization and the combination of those. Also, they have tested on the dropout technique with the different percentages of dropping the neurons. So dropout means we randomly drop certain percentage of neurons during the training to increase the robustness of the model. Or you can say it is a regularization effect. So these are different percentages of dropout rates. And in all the cases, Mish outperforms Swish. And these are for different weight initializations. We know that the weights are initialized randomly before training. So whether we should fetch from uniform distribution or normal distribution, we have to decide that. So there are many choices there and Mish performed better than Swish in all of them. So it is robust to weight initialization. Even they have tested the effects of data augmentation on its performance. Mixup is one of the data augmentation techniques and Mish beats ReLU here by very large margin. So these are some of the ablation studies they have conducted to validate the performance of Mish 
and in all the cases mish is robust to all the variations and performed better than its counterparts now let's look at the python implementation this is the definition of mish it's x into tan h of soft plus i have used numpy for this tan h logarithm and exponential terms everything else is same as formula here now let's see this in action this is the definition of swish activation we have seen in the previous video now i have added the mish activation function definition here it is x into tan h of this total term is soft plus and i am plotting both the curves ranging from minus 4 to plus 4 you can see i am calling swish here and i am calling mish here so let's see how they look like so you can see it is a bit sharper on both negative and positive sides that's all from this video in the next video we will see one more activation function which is the last one in our series if you like the content please hit the like button i have shared the playlist of this course in the description see you next time thank you